everybody, welcome back to Sync Up. This is our second day at CES, but this is the first day that you're seeing all the exhibitors here. Uh, to give you an idea, there are 3,100 exhibitors here at Las Vegas this, over the next few days, and this is over 37 American football fields. To give you perspective, that's over a million point five square feet of electronics that we're gonna try to cover in the next three days. We're gonna lose a lot of weight walking, but I tell you what, it's gonna be all worth it, because this is Geek Dome. Here we go, guys, let's check it out. Okay, we're here with Davis from JVC, and we're talking about the uh, 4K, it's a new camera. with you guys? This is the world's first handheld 4K camcorder. This is a small, lightweight camera that has four times the resolution of Full HD. Wow. Now, Full HD is 1920 by 1080. This right. is 3840 by 2160. Has a native 8.3 megapixel imager in it, which produces the incredible video that's coming out of this. We can produce a live image, yeah. or we can go and record it onto SDHC memory cards. This will record for two hours in full HD. That's fantastic. Okay, now, I mean, has it been used in the market yet, or is this something brand new that you guys are introducing here at CES? This is brand new, just being introduced here at CES. It'll be available in April. In April, worldwide or in U.S. first? For, for sure in the U.S. Yeah. I'm not sure what the other countries' plans are. Okay, fantastic. All right. How much are we looking at? This? A list price of $4,995. Not bad at all. Which is a, a less than a tenth of the price of what a competing high-end 4K camera would cost. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Davis. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hey, everybody. We're here at the GoPro booth. I'm with Art right now. And what are we talking? We've got a, a, a new device, don't we, here with GoPro? That's correct. We actually, we're going to be coming out with a new uh, Wi-Fi backpack attachment for our camera. This allows you to not only wirelessly stream video to another um, smart device, like an iPad or an iPhone or an Android device, but you will also be able to trigger it via remote. So, which is pretty cool about this, is that not only is it waterproof down to eight feet right now, uh, but you actually will be able to trigger up to 50 cameras at the same time and control, you get full functionality. Basically, you get all of the, the same functions and you know menus that you would get on the front of the camera here um, on your remote. Uh, we're also gonna be including a GoPro app um, around the same time, we're looking at launching this like around March, and you'll be able to actually control the cameras with your iPhone or a smart device. So let me ask you this: what, uh, I mean, there's probably no price point yet, right? For this, what do you think? What do you think the range is going to be about? We're looking at around 100 bucks. I mean, it's not 100; it's not set in stone, but yeah. we're looking at about 100 dollars retail. Okay, and this back will work on all your cameras. That's correct. This will be working on on our HD Hero 2 model, which is our current model, yeah. and also the previous generation HD Hero 1. The thing is that with the HD Hero 1, you won't be able to get the, the live stream capability. You'll be only able to control it. So the Hero 2 is the, the camera we need to get there. That's correct. All right, guys. There you have it. Thank you a lot. Thanks, Art. Pretty much. No problem. All right. Hey, everybody. We're in front of the LG booth right now, and I got to tell you something. This is absolutely amazing. You want to talk about 3D in its glory? This is just stunning. I mean, these are the they're giving away the glasses right now. And you can use these in the movie theater as well, I'm telling you. But this is just stunning 3D quality. And the booth out here is larger than like a Harvey Norman. And it's just for LG. I mean, this is the creme de la creme. This is what CS is all about. And we're gonna see so many like this uh, later on. So let's go. Hey everybody, we are at the Motorola Mobility booth here. And this is the new Droid Razor Max. We're not gonna see this in Singapore yet. This is a 4G LTE phone. But the beauty for the building on this phone, it's got the largest battery in the market. 3,300 million. To give you an idea how large that is, right? You can drive back and forth, let's say from Singapore to KL, on a navigation without having to charge this thing. You've got 21 hours of talk time. 21 hours of talk time. You can play music for two days straight, right? And this is using 4G LTE. That means you're using the highest data speeds possible in this phone. And it's incredibly thin. It's not as, it's not as thin as the Razer that we're seeing right now. But look at this. This beats even smartphones at a half the battery size. 3,300 milliamps. It's running an Android 2.3.5. It's ice cream sandwich ready. So when it comes out, because obviously Motorola is owned by Google now, so you know ice cream sandwich is coming. This is going to be one badass phone. Can't wait for this to come out to Singapore. Wow. Yep. Hey everybody, we're here at the Microsoft booth here at CES. Uh, we heard about the unveiling yesterday. We talked about the Windows 8 a little bit. Now we're seeing it in action right behind me. Uh, they just finished a demonstration of it. We've got Windows Phone over here, which I'm using and I love it. I love it. I mean, I think it's this is the OS of 2012. And they've got a Skype booth as well, because you know Microsoft owns Skype now. So imagine all this on one. And I gotta tell you, Windows 8 is sexy. We're gonna show you more about it in just a bit. Hey everybody, we are here at the Sigma booth at CES, and I'm here with Chris Moose. 
right? Mooseman. Mooseman, sorry. Chris Mooseman. And uh, tell us, what is new with Sigma this year at CS? Sigma is introducing two new lenses for micro four thirds, and it's the first time Sigma is entering that category. We've got the 19 millimeter f2.8 and the 30 millimeter f2.8 lens for Micro Four Thirds and the Sony Next cameras. Oh, fantastic! So this is going to fit natively on a Sony. Now the other cameras they'll need an adapter, obviously, to use it, but they still can use your lens, correct? Yes. Okay. And uh, when are those lenses going to be launched in the market? Uh, early spring. Okay. And we've also got a 180 macro uh, f2.8 macro lens, which is the world's first one-to-one uh, -one f2.8 macro lens. This sounds amazing. Okay, guys, look for it. Come spring, Sigma, Micro Four Thirds, big, big market, and we're going to see a lot of cameras here at CS, especially in that field. Thanks a lot, Chris. We are here at the Samsung booth. This is just, I think this must be the largest booth here in CS. It's absolutely amazing. they got every product here in the market. But this TV behind me is, this is the creme de la creme. This is their 75-inch. LED TV. This is going to be their flagship model. It's got a lot of new technology on it. I mean, not only is this thing very thin, and we're talking like that thin, right? It's got a camera up here on top. Now, this is actually so you can do voice control and gesture control to actually control the TV. It has a dual core processor in this. That means your apps on your smart TV are going to run twice or three times as fast as they normally have on your existing uh, Samsung smart TV. Um, a lot of lighting control this goes into this as well. So, I mean, you're going to get some of the clearest picture you've ever seen on a Samsung TV or any TV in general. Um, this is a pre-production model. It's almost finalized. Uh, we don't know when it's coming to the market or we don't have a price. But I got to tell you, this is absolutely stunning. It's 75 inches. We're standing like less than five feet away and it's clear as can be. There's no distortion. It's just, it's mind blowing. You have to see this in person to believe it. Let's go check out some more. We are here at the Samsung booth. I'm here with Joe. Hi, Joe. How are you? Good afternoon, how are you doing? We're doing great. Now, in front of us is a phone that hasn't launched in Singapore quite yet. But this is the Galaxy Nexus. Huh? This is a flagship device. I mean, this is just a Sun. Tell us more about it. Absolutely. It's a flagship device for us at Samsung. It's a dual core processor. It's a first of its kind device because it has ice cream sandwich software yeah. on it. What that means is the interface is streamlined. You know, your multitasking is very simple to operate. Okay. All right, and uh, this is running 4G as well, right? Now this is, uh, yeah. Absolutely right, this device actually runs LTE. Okay, okay. Fantastic, and what, uh, I mean this, uh, with the form, with the form factor, what is it, about a four point? Uh, 4.65 inch screen. Yep. So, dual core, dual core, yeah. absolutely. It's a beautiful phone. You gotta see this in person. It's got a curved screen to it. Uh, absolutely stunning, and uh, it looks like Google's finally got their act together with Ice Cream Sandwich, huh? It's, it's outstanding software. It's very intuitive and easy to use. All right, Joe, thanks. Now, also, there's a new tablet as well, Joe, isn't there, that uh, you guys have? Yeah, the 7.7-inch the tablet's also LTE-enabled. It's uh, coming to Verizon very soon. Hey, everybody. Well, that wraps up the first day of CES for us here. We have seen a lot of different things that you've seen as well. We've talked to so many people. I have mentally spent so much money, but uh, what am I going to do? It's CES, baby. It's what it's about. So tomorrow, we are gonna go in and we are going to explore Monster, the world of headphones, Beats by Dre. Uh, you know, we're seeing the Daft Punk uh, limited edition Tron headphones. So much to see tomorrow. Coming to you live from Las Vegas CES, I'm Bobby Tonelli with Sync Up. We'll see you tomorrow.